Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel, The Diversity Travelers. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we'll take you to the Mount Kuta area of Brisbane and also the Mount Kuta Botanical Garden. We stayed in a hotel in Spring Hill. Opposite to our hotel, there was a park called Roma Parkland. While we were having our morning walk in that park, we had a very nice surprise. We found a statue of Indian Mahatma Gandhi and that was a statue inaugurated by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2014. So that was a bit of a surprise in the morning in Brisbane. And we also met our good friend Daniel and we spent the whole day with Daniel. First of all, we drove to Mount Kuta and we had nice coffee there. It's a fascinating lookout where you can see the Brisbane airport and the Brisbane city. It's a fascinating place to go, especially if the weather is not very hot. And then from there, we went to Mount Kuta Botanical Garden. And that was a fascinating place as well. We love visiting Botanical Garden, as you may have seen our video of Hobart's Botanical Garden that we made last year in 2022. Brisbane's Mount Kuta Botanical Garden was equally fascinating, full of African plants, beautiful sceneries, ponds, and also extraordinary farmhouse. They had a collection of huge number of farms around the world, and that was a pretty exciting place to visit. Although I know that 8K is not very widely available to be seen on the television or your computer or phone, but we are trying to capture as high resolution as possible. And particularly when we visit some natural beauty or plantation or animals, we try to capture with these new devices because these subjects are very well suited for recording in 8K and 4K. And so we tried our best to capture Mount Kuta Botanical Garden and hope you will enjoy this episode. It was a nice drive through the suburbs of Brisbane, not much traffic on a Saturday morning. We love 4X beers, and the building on the right hand side is the production house of the Queensland 4X beer, and it was very nice to look at that building. Mount Kuta Lookout is a popular tourist destination, one of the Brisbane's most iconic landmarks. Located at approximately 7 kilometers northwest of Brisbane CBD, it offers breathtaking panoramic view of the city and its surroundings. View of the Brisbane airport is also great and is a paradise for the plane spotters. First we went to the Mount Kuta lookout, beautiful drive through the winding road up the hill to the summit. The vegetation of Mount Kuta is primarily open eucalyptus forest, so as many parts of Queensland and Australia. Oils from eucalyptus trees often create a blue hue and makes the forest highly prone to bushfires. The Kuta Cafe at Mount Kuta Lookout serves delicious meals, snacks and beverages, making it a great place to enjoy a meal with a view. Additionally, there is a gift shop where visitors can purchase souvenir and local products. At the cafe, we had nice coffee and some macadamia slice, and the view was just breathtaking.
At the Mount Kutta Lookout, visitors can enjoy stunning views of Brisbane skyline, the winding Brisbane River and the Moreton Bay region in the distance. It's an ideal spot for photography, sightseeing and taking the natural beauty of the area. For nature enthusiasts and hikers, Mount Kuta offers a range of walking trails of different difficulty levels. These trails wind through the lush bushland and provide an opportunity to explore the native flora and fauna of the area. We found some interesting photos displayed at the summit, especially how Brisbane skyline used to be over 100 years ago, first recorded view of the Brisbane River the Moreton Bay settlement in 1835 and the Brisbane city in 1911, capital of the newly formed Australian state of Queensland, elegant and enclosed in an European style. The lookout features an elevated observation deck that provides unobstructed views from all angles. There are telescopes available to allow visitors to get a closer look of the various landmarks and point of interest around that area. Adjacent to the Mount Kuta Lookout is the Brisbane's Botanical Gardens, commonly referred as the Kuta Botanical Gardens. This 56 hectares botanical garden is renowned for its diverse collection of plants, themed gardens and recreational spaces. From the summit we went to this Kuta Botanical Garden next. Once again, we had a very nice drive through these eucalyptus trees, although it was a short drive, but it was beautiful. The Kuta Botanical Gardens feature several themed gardens, such as the Japanese Garden, Fern House, Fragrant Plant Garden and the Bonsai House. Each garden showcases different plant species and design styles, providing visitors with a rich horticultural experience. We only had a couple of hours at this garden, so in this video we only touched and covered a small portion of the whole garden. But we could easily spend the whole day at the garden. It was so pretty, so spectacular. We were fascinated by its collection. It was a wonderful place to record some plants very closely in 8K resolution. Hope you will like it. We are not botanists, so we will not even try to bore you with descriptions of the plants. As we walked through the different pathways, we found it very therapeutic and peaceful. So we wanted to share the experience with you. Please enjoy the beautiful walk among these exotic plants. We saw a bamboo grove beside the picturesque pond, featuring various species of bamboo. This area displays the beauty and diversity of these versatile plants. Probably these are the bottle brush, 
we always saw bottle brush in very dark gray color but these are very colorful orange yellow reddish very vibrant in color we never seen these before The gardens display plants from various regions of the world, including Americas, Africa and Asia, offering a diverse and interesting experience for the visitors. We could see some beautiful plants from Madagascar. It was fascinating, the size, color, texture and the shape of the plants and the leaves. Amazing. I think by now you might have noticed the garden has some interesting sculptures, nicely blended with the natural beauty of the plants. Color of the plants were just breathtaking, so bright, very bright green, truly reflecting tropical climatic conditions of Queensland. The marsh grapefruit and the blood orange trees were at full bloom. It was fascinating to watch. The tropical display dome is an attractive building within the garden. It's easily visible from any part of the garden and a beautiful architecture made with glass. Inside the beautiful greenhouse, it was warm and full of green plants, very dark green, and a central pond. There was a nice pathway as all other parts of the garden and you can walk around the pond through that pathway through the lush greeneries. It was most enjoyable.
Interestingly, we found a cacao plant with many hanging cacao pods in that dome. Pods host the cacao beans inside. The cacao plant is a small evergreen tree native to the tropical regions of the Central and South America. It is famous for being the source of cacao beans, which are the primary ingredients in the chocolate production. We have seen cacao plants and cacao pods and cacao beans so many times in National Geography and other documentaries. But this was the first time we could see this plant in reality. And it was fascinating to watch. The farm house section showcases a variety of farms, including tree farms, stage horn farms, and bard's nest farms, offering a glimpse into the world of lush greenery. Farms are one of the oldest types of vascular plants, dating back to more than 300 million years and have a rich evolutionary history. Farms are known for their distinctive leafy fronds and unique reproductive structures. Farms reproduce through spores rather than seeds. When the spores are released and find suitable conditions, they can germinate and grow into new farm plants. In my view, it was a fascinating place to visit. There are so many varieties of farms collected in one place, beautifully maintained and beautifully decorated. The orientation inside and the interior decoration of the farmhouse was just fascinating. So it was kind of a mini paradise for 8K photography. Beautifully decorated and maintained pathways made it very easy to walk around the farmhouse and photograph these beautiful plants. Look at these curly farms, they almost look like snakes. Truly nature could be full of mystery and beauty. As you have seen, the Kota Botanical Gardens have well-maintained walking and cycling paths that allow visitors to explore the garden at their own pace while being surrounded by this beautiful nature. It was just an amazingly beautiful experience at these two sites today. The summit and the garden, the botanical garden at the Mount Kuta. The gardens have numerous picnic spots and barbecue facilities, making it an ideal place for families and groups to enjoy a relaxing day outdoors. We wished we had a bit more time to capture the other part of this beautiful garden, perhaps some other day. Hope you like this tour of a unique part of Brisbane. Thanks for watching our travel videos. Stay safe and goodbye until the next video.